I'm building an observatory and step one is to build a telescope pier. I dug the hole for the footer down four feet to make sure that I'm below the frost line. When I laid out the position for the pier, I made sure that it would come up through the deck in between the floor joists. Okay, so I've got the floor in and leveled, and now it's time to mix the concrete. I've got the concrete mixed just right, not too soupy, not too dry. I take it over to this site and shovel it into this bucket, and then take it down into the hole and dump it into the form. I was able to find a large, heavy-duty cardboard tube. I cut it off 12 inches long. This will make a nice, heavy-duty footer for that sauna tube. I stuck a couple short pieces of half-inch rebar down in the concrete. And there you can see the four foot long piece that's sticking vertically out of the footer. And I took the sauna tube and placed it down over that rebar. After I made sure the tube was plumb, I took my heavy duty homemade tamper and tamped the soil so that it's nice and firm around that tube. Before I add more fill, I make sure that the tube is plumb. Using the tractor to backfill saves a lot of shoveling, but you have to make sure you don't bump the form. Now I'll shovel that dirt around the tube, and then tamp again. Then I check for plumb one more time. I'm still able to move the tube a little bit if I need to. I've got the tube length figured so that it'll come up through the deck and then be at the same height that I'm used to operating my telescope when it's on the tripod. Our clay soil gets pretty messy when it rains, so I have this nice gravel hauled in. Now I'll move it over close to the pier and then finish it by hand. I decided to run a piece of conduit in the pier. This will allow me to run my electrical wiring under the deck and up through the pier to the telescope mount. The instructions on this piece of sauna tube said that it shouldn't be sticking out of the ground more than three feet. And so here's a piece of this heavy duty cardboard tube that I found. And I'm going to place it around the sauna tube and then fill it with stone. This will help to support that sauna tube when I fill it with concrete. After the concrete cures for a few days, I'll cut and remove that large cardboard tube. And then I'll spread this number two stone around under the deck. Now it's time to start mixing the concrete. I plan to mix the concrete fairly stiff at a four to one ratio. I want to make sure it's not too soupy and it's not too dry. It's got to be just right. Over the years I've learned that you don't want your concrete to be too runny. For this application it actually feels a little bit sticky but it will pour out of that bucket easily down into the tube. It's quite a process but this 12 inch sauna tube which I've cut 90 inches long will actually fill pretty quickly. This will make me pretty happy because the temperature right now is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit and it's very humid out here. So as soon as we get this tube filled, we'll get a nice cold drink of water. The last step in the process will be to install the jig that I made, which will hold the adapter for the telescope mount. The sano tube is fairly plumb, but the real important part is to make sure that this adapter plate is level after I stick the J-bolts down into the concrete. The adapter place has to be positioned so that when I attach the mount, it will be facing north, and so I've indicated this on the jig. I've got a compass app on my iPhone, and so I'll be using that to find north. I've got it fairly close right now, 
and the uh, telescope mount does allow for quite a bit of adjustment but we want to make sure that that's pointing north just a few more adjustments then it'll be time to level the plate finally finished I can't wait to use my new telescope here